I'll make this quick. So the pattern that we're currently following uh, tops roughly around April 5th. And this is the one I've been posting on Twitter, right? The reason I had it for April 5th is because of how fast the S&P is moving right now. Now, the entire thesis I have uh, is the S&P 500 to the COVID 1618 which is 413. Using that as our benchmark and our educational guess of where this is actually going, we can assume that AMC will also top at the same time. Now, AMC needs to be at the price targets that we're assuming it will go to when the S&P is 413. That is how we can tell if the AMC fractal has topped. Because as you guys know, and we've talked about previously, the algorithms run in tandem. Now, they're not going to top on the same exact day. They're not going to top at the same exact hour. But the price targets are more important than the timing, okay? Because CPI is on the 12th, okay? If the S&P tops at 413 on April 5th and this chart is correct and we go to that 575 mark by April 5th, that's the top. And we see 370 from there. The other scenario is it takes up to April 11th, okay? Which is another six days, right? And it's another, I believe, five business days, which is a long time. What we wanna see is a fast move to 575 sometime by midweek, okay? If that is the case, then we know, and, and the S&P has to be at 413 at the same time. If that is the case, we know AMC is topped, 370 is next. The other possibility is that it's extended for another five days. We've talked about April um, 12th, 13th many times in the comment section. I talked about it on my video as well. The 12th is CPI. So if they run SPY into CPI and SPY tops at 413 on the 11th, which is um, the 12th is a Wednesday. So the 11th is a Tuesday. That's the case and the fractal is extended another five business days. Uh, and my measurement was too fast. We will know probably Monday or Tuesday if my measurement is off and we were expecting the move to happen too quickly. If the S&P, which is currently at 409, is not 413 on by Wednesday this week, and AMC is not at that 575 level, then we're probably gonna see some type of small retracement in the S&P. It might be two points or, or whatever. That's fine. They're just extending it another couple of days. If that's the case, then the fractal is also extended another couple of days. Remember, this fractal specifically has three tops. Each top is higher than the previous one. So if this isn't the full top and the fractal isn't smaller, for the visual learners, right if it's not like this then it's like this okay and this has to be moved so this top will actually be here before we get a 370 okay that means 460 still hasn't happened yet so if Monday we open and this thing goes boom right to 550 and it doesn't go to 575 then you can expect this thing to go right down to 460 by Friday. Max Payne next week is also $5. In the beginning of next week, right into CPI, you'll see the blast off. You'll get that 575, maybe a little higher, 590, whatever. And that will end the fractal sequence. SPY should be at 413 here if it's extended, okay? So it's one of two things. Again, SPY is either at 413 here and that's the top or SPY is at 413 here. And that's the top. We're not going to know. We're not going to know until we see how fast the thing moves um, this week. I am also not going to post the, the tweet that I have with all the price targets until I know where this thing is going by CPI. So just follow me on my more recent posts. Ignore that price, those price targets for now because there's a chance that I'm going to have to modify them so you guys understand what's coming next. And I don't want to confuse anyone posting it over and over again. Um, so 
just have patience, wait. I will uh, I'll repost that tweet once we get here and we know what's going on. Just keep track of my tweets in the meantime, okay?